What's up? What's good? We're back in the No Look Cook kitchen. Things have gone a bit weird. You might notice that it's uh, a Monday or if you're watching this video, whenever you please after it's premiered, then it's whatever day it is. So good for you. But yeah, we're a little bit late. We've been in mourning uh, the tragic passing of her Majesty Elizabeth the Queen. Um, I think, is that how you say it? That's the full title? That that happened, so yeah, we got pushed back a little bit. So you're getting a delayed video, but it means that um, things are a little bit different. You know, I've got my affogato here, gonna be nice and jazzed up for this uh, this big cook. In any case, we still have the same sponsors, so it is sponsor time. Geotraining.com.au, they're absolute legends. If you haven't yet and you've been thinking about it, what are you doing? Go and talk to Geotraining. The legends there will sort you out of working at heights, confined spaces, forklifts, tickets for your next career, and they'll do it all with the friendly service around geotraining.com.au, go and see them. All right, today in front of me, different set of ingredients with a different set of things going on. Actually, before we go any further, make sure if you're watching on Facebook, you give it a like, you give it a share. If you're on YouTube, click the subscribe button and make sure you tick the bell for notifications about all that other stuff that happens. Comment on the video as well, like Marilla Murphy, absolute legend, shout out Marilla. Let's get into the recipe today. Two very interesting things in front of me that I'm looking at. We have a Picasso kitchen, Picasso, famously a uh, very talented chef, has released his very own range of dough balls. So I have two dough balls in front of me. I have 200 grams of Edam cheese with the red rind, lovely. Put that in your kid's lunchbox. 30 grams of Parmesan, half a stick of salted butter. That's awesome. Four cloves of garlic, but got the whole bloody thing here. Salt and pepper and the pizza dough balls, as I said. Now, you might be thinking, dough ball, let's make pizza. But as you know, you need a base to make pizza, either tomato or white, uh, rosse or blanco. This avocado is going down a treat. But like I said, we have um, we have no base for the pizza or no sauce for the pizza. So obviously it's not a pizza. But what we do have is two types of cheese and garlic. I mean, obviously you can do a lot with dough and cheese, namely, I don't know, like cheese pockets or something like that. Garlic and cheese like pockets, maybe. The only thing that I'm wondering is like where the butter comes into it. It is half a stick of butter, which is quite a lot, like that's 125 grams of butter. That, that's correct, 100, half a stick, this stick. 125 grams of butter is a lot. It does suggest that maybe, just maybe, we're gonna have to make, I'm gonna say like a filling for these dough balls. So it could be like a garlic and cheese pizza pocket of sorts, you know? Like a pizza pizza pocket. I've never made a pizza pocket in real life. They used to have them at the tuck shop. This recipe came from uh, Cameras Truly Joel and he actually made this recipe and he gave me a tip because I sort of need to have it that the dough balls need to get sort of used with this flour. This wasn't on the recipe, but they need to sort of get worked into smaller pieces so that I guess they can not stick and whatever so the plain flour comes into it. Now, I am gonna choose to use this very heavily seasoned chopping board here as my workspace. So before anything happens, I'm gonna preheat the oven because it's definitely gonna have to get baked and I'm also gonna clean this thing because it's quite frankly disgusting. Although it could be bonus flavor, which we love here on the show, but maybe not so much today. All right, see ya after a quick clean. Okay, bench clean or clean enough at least. Now it's time to, uh, well, I'm just gonna preemptively season the um, the, the bench top with, uh, with flour because nothing can really go wrong there. So I'll spread some out here so our little dough ball doesn't stick. Oh, this is fun, it's like craft, arts and craft. Picasso kitchen dough ball, easy tear package, love that. Okay, ooh, it's stuck to the bag though. Let's go Picasso. All right, all right, time to put flour in my hand. Jesus. All right, that's what we're gonna do, I reckon. All right, well, I've got my two dough balls here on the thing. It's good that we have two balls episodes in a row. Obviously we can stuff these balls with the cheese before we bake, which does make a lot of sense, but I'm thinking that we might actually want to be making garlic butter here. Cause we have garlic, we have butter, and the two ingredients in garlic butter, believe it or not, are garlic and butter. I'm just gonna do that and I don't think we can really go too wrong because at the end of the day, worst case scenario, we have garlic butter, two types of cheese inside dough balls and that's gonna be pretty freaking tasty anyway. Let's make some garlic butter uh, on the side here so I don't make it in a little flour well. I might just soften the butter slightly, ever so slightly. Let's get our four cloves of garlic. Get our half a stick of butter. Oh, look at that. Bonus points, sticks it. Oh yeah, yeah. So let's put this in the world's strongest microwave for like, I don't know, probably like 15 seconds or something. Just enough time to enjoy some more, I forgot it. That's about good. 
All right, a little bit of salt, pepper. Oh yes. All right, let's get this in the fridge. Um, actually, I'll put it in the freezer. Now we've got our garlic butter in the mix. Cheesy garlic balls, that's the idea that I'm running with at the moment. Joel did mention that it was a funny name. I mean, cheesy garlic balls is pretty funny. Cheesy balls, maybe tiny cheesy garlic balls. Is that funnier? Small balls. Small balls. Small. Funny, <laughs> it's, it's, it's objectively funny. First off, I'm going to take this Edom and I'm going to cut it into some smaller, more manageable pieces because we are going to have to work with it at some point and I don't want to have to prep midway through. Oh yeah. We got our Edom. Chopped up, lovely, ready to stuff into the balls. Now we need to actually make these into smaller balls. Because we're making tiny balls, we need to split it up. So let's start working with this dough. Start making smaller balls, shall we? I reckon this is, this is gonna go really hard, I reckon. Well, prototype ball number one is looking all right and we're gonna sprinkle it with Parmesan once we get them all in the tray and that's gonna work for us, I reckon. So let's just make a ton of these little um, small discs here so we can start getting our recipe into gear. All right, baby, uh, we're back. We've got our ball base ready to go. We're about to stuff those balls with cheese. Two types, garlic butter, slightly melting after it froze, after it melted. Anyway, it's a whole thing. Uh, and then we're gonna bang them in the oven. But the first thing to do is we're gonna build the balls. Let's do it, let's start stacking these balls. So if they're small, they're gonna get one piece of Edom. And if they're big, they're gonna get two. So we'll see how we're going with our Edom steaks. Now, let's go. A little bit of garlic inside, just a little bit, and then we're going to brush the top of them. So a little bit of garlic butter here on top. Thank you, this is like communion. Thank you, a little garlic butter, body, body of Christ. A little bit of pepper. All right, let's uh, fold these bully boys. Let's get our tiny, cheesy, actually, they're just tiny, cheesy balls. Oh, sorry, they're tiny, cheesy garlic balls, but they're not as cheesy as they could be. So we'll get them onto our tray here, load it up, give them some space. All right, now let's drizzle. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna get this up close. All right, and we'll get our Parmesan. Actually, you know what? I haven't even used the pizza cutter this episode, which is absolutely mental. I know, so we'll use it to open our... We'll use it to open our... Cheese here. Love that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. These tiny cheesy garlic balls are ready to get banged in the oven. It's sitting at a million degrees, so I'm just gonna chuck them in. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, but let's just keep watch so we don't burn them. I want these to work out. I think these are gonna be so tasty and hopefully we get that pull apart cheesy brilliance. Like a mozzarella stick. Like a mozzarella stick with and a cheesy tiny garlic ball instead. All right, let's bang them in the oven. We'll see you in a certain amount of time with some tasty food, fingers crossed. Catch ya. Get in there, yeah, bye. Mm. A few moments later. She, that is hot. Whew. These are popping off. Oh my goodness. All right, well, if you haven't noticed, we've got our cheesy garlic, tiny cheesy garlic balls. Balls. We've got balls by the dozen. They're feeling nice and crispy. You just gotta check out and see what they're like in the middle. Oh man, I can't wait to crack one of these guys in half. It's gonna be so exciting. All right. Let's take this guy, this little guy. Oh, this guy looks nice and, oh, he's even got some ooze. All right, let's see if we can crack in. What we got in here? Oh, we got a little gooey eat him in there. All right, well, I think, I think we've done okay here. I, it, it seems like by all accounts, our tiny cheesy garlic balls have gone all right. All right. Mm. All right, the only thing I'm missing is a little bit of garlic. Like, it just, obviously getting cooked, you lose the intensity. You don't even need to microwave it, you just dip it. Dip, dip, Screw it, got it right here. <laughs> it is Italian ranch, it's exactly what this is. I have my little drag here, dip it in the uh, in the ranch. Yeah, it's done, it's over. It's over. Don't know what the assignment was. I was told through the bake that it was supposed to be garlic bread of sorts, what was it called? Monkey bread. Monkey, monkey bread, monkey pox, yeah, lovely. Lovely, on theme. Yeah, monkey bread um, was what we were supposed to be making, but instead we've got these delicious tiny cheesy garlic balls 
with Italian ranch as seasoning. So fantastic. Um, crack into this at home, obviously. I mean, this is a party please. You got the AFL grand final that's just gone. You got the NRL grand final coming up. This is a people pleaser. Bloody easy thanks to Picasso's pizza balls. Shout out to geotraining.com.au, absolute legends. The team of Geo Training would love this. Forklifts, working at heights, working in confined spaces, the whole shebang. Certifications for your next career, geotraining.com.au. Get on board, because that will sort you out. And make sure you come back next week when we're making something else. And uh, I've got a lot of cheesy, tiny garlic balls to eat. So catch you soon. Stay cooking.